In a first for the chat room caves, we have bravely decided to cram a double act in here. Um, we'll see how it goes. We're joined by Charlotte Hudson and Leela Hackett from Two Left Hands. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in. How is your show going? It's a sketch show, isn't it? Yes, yes. that's right. We decided on the seaside because it has like lots of scope for rubbish characters, people who are doing <laughs> bad things wrongly. Because lots of people in British Seaside Resorts is kind of the last resort. Nice, yes, See. I see, yes. That's very apt, actually. I keep feeling like up at the rainy fringe that I am on one of my mum's you know, annual exactly rubbish seaside holidays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Squatting there in your anorak, eating outdoors, and yes. every now and again someone going, isn't this fun? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, no, it really. isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the sort of yeah. spirit that Yeah, we you must be getting of. the atmosphere going very well mm. when people yeah. tramp in their wet Certainly clothes. Certainly with the audience. Just, yeah, they, they tramped across the stage the other day, and it was just, just these puddles. And our first, <laughs> our first really sketch wet. is a dance number, and we were like, we can't move. We're going to fall over Oh. <laughs> Tentative sketch. Yeah, because yeah. there was just puddles of everybody's umbrellas all over the stage. Oh, oh great! They start steaming. <laughs> Plus, it's so got... hot in there. It's so cold outside, yeah. but it's so hot in yeah, there. So. Yeah. It's a little porter cabin. Uh, the theatre, you know, one of those yeah, yeah. French specials. And uh, we've got some seagulls who've kind of taken up <laughs> residence on the roof. So you can hear them walking over the roof and kind of going, oh, oh, which adds to the atmosphere, we yeah, think. It sounds like you've got too much atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> it's like far more than you wanted. Possibly. Uh, in your daily life, you, you're uh, the presenter of Brainiac, aren't you, Charlotte? Is that? I, yes, I have been. I, uh, I've, I've done lots of presenting stuff and I kind of chop and change it with the acting. Mm. And the do you prefer one over the other? Is it nice to sort of mix them up? I think it's nice to do to do both. I, I, in certain areas, I'm more well known as a presenter, and I find it slightly easier being a presenter. But mm. but I really love doing this and making yeah. people laugh is what. So or even with my presenting, like on stuff like Brainiac, it's it's more comedy based. Really, yeah, it's yeah. not serious. Yeah. And and so what I like doing most is making people laugh. Is it is it odd the thought that people are coming to see you because of your presenting work and coming to see you here that whatever might... it takes? Yeah. <laughs> we do <laughs> have a slight seats. sort of spot who's come for what reason kind of thing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and there are some people who go, what made them come? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's like a show of hands. Who's lost? Yeah. <laughs> Who came because everything else was sold out? There's always like two going baffled, 16-year-old <laughs> <senior> boys. <laughs> they might have come because of the poster, right? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask you as well about something that I cannot pronounce. You were you were um, sort of wheelchair bound for like quite yeah. a few years with an undiagnosed illness, and yes. it's uh, And then they diagnosed it as fibromyalgia, which doesn't really mean anything. All it means is muscle pain. In a way, it was really positive. I know, obviously, at the time, I would have killed you if you'd said to me, this might be a positive yeah, yeah. experience. But it meant that I stuck to the writing, because when I was at university, I'm really, I was into acting a lot, and I did a lot of comedy stuff. But I was quite shy about writing. I started writing, but I kind of wanted to show people. But then once I got ill, um, I couldn't act anymore, really, because there were very limited parts for people who want to stay in their bed while they do it. Yes. And, um, there was that like Kim Cattrall play. Uh, up in the West End, she was yeah, in bed all the time. But, was, yeah. but they are few and far between They're those parts. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I basically ran away to the circus. And uh, I guess you would though, if you've yeah, been like you know, so sort of debilitated for so many to years, run just like and go crazy. Definitely. And I ended up seeing the whole country and doing children's theatre in mad places. And That's how everyone celebrates with a bit of children's yeah. theatre. Yeah. yeah, well, I felt it was like a rite of passage. Everyone else only had done it since I graduated. Yeah, you know, sort of rubbish, sort of shows in town halls and things. <laughs> I love the thought that like you've built up your reputation as a writer over those sort of ten years, and now people are like, oh, do you like to do good things? Like, no, like to do rubbish <laughs> things, please. <laughs> Go off and do something yeah. rubbish, please. I want to reclaim my youth with some rubbish theatre. Yes, that was exactly <laughs> it. Is there a back end of a horse I could be? No, I don't want to play Lady Macbeth. <laughs> Too Better late off. for all that. 